Hi guys, it's Christina Connolly with another tech tip for you today. I'm so excited to show you a new update from Educational Networks that makes editing your web page a whole lot easier. This new update makes it possible to update your page without having to go to a separate website to log in to your web editor. I'm here on my school website that I navigated to under the staff directory, and you'll notice that I'm viewing the page live. Now, I can't currently edit this unless I sign in to Educational Networks. Well, now there's a new shortcut that makes signing in a whole lot easier without ever having to know which website to go to. On a PC, I'll click Control twice and I'll be prompted to sign in right here on the page. On a Mac, you can hit Command twice to get the same result. Once I enter my credentials and sign in, I now see a new bar appear at the lower part of my screen. You'll notice that when I click in the text area, I can now edit this text however I see fit, and simply double-clicking will give me my editing bar that has very similar functions to what you would do when you signed into the web editor. You can choose what style you want, bold, italic, underline, and so on. Now, one of the really cool things about this new editor is when I right-click in the text area, I'm now given the option to insert another box above or below. So let's say I choose to insert something below. I'm given all of these great options that I didn't have before when I signed into the actual website. I could add another text box, a full photo, a photo and text, whether it's on the left or the right, quotes on the left or right, and a table. So let's say I choose quote on the left. Now what I really like about the quote is that you don't have to just put text in here. If I click and drag, I can actually add a hyperlink in here and this looks a lot like a button. I can actually make it a lot easier to find links on my page by using this quote box as a hyperlink instead. Also something to make note of is in the lower bar, you can revert back to an older version. You can duplicate a page and you can also upload your files right here. There's also a quick check here that'll give you recommendations for your page. I can revert in and out of editing mode here by toggling this switch on and off. And finally, don't forget to save your page when you're all done with your changes. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and let me know. And as always, have a great day.